Okay. Now the final constraint assembly, not really so much hard as it requires you to think and think about what we're placing and how we're putting it together. So let's start off by new assembly, standard, and I'm going to place my components. And I only have to place them once because I've already gone through the process of assembling, putting them together. Okay, now looking at this, I know that this part of the handle right here, this part needs to go down into that slot. And I want it to go flush all the way down to the bottom of the slot. Now, if I was spinning around, look, and I'm going, well, I can't quite see where that's at. How am I going to do this? Okay, what I'm going to do. Is, where is it now? There it is. I'm going to right click. If it'll let me. Anyway, there it goes. Dang, you're hiding. And I'm just going to turn the visibility off of it for right now. I'll go back and turn the visibility back on visibility back on in a minute. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get to where I can see, see that bottom edge? That's what I'm going to use as my constraint. So I want this bottom edge spinning around to this bottom edge. And if you look nice and closely enough, it is right there and needs to go. Excellent. So now I'm going to turn visibility back on. And there is my pizza cutter assembled. See? Not so bad, right? File, save as. Final assembly. And if I look at my view here, okay, yeah, that's fine. I actually want this to become my front view. And that's fine. Save. All right, congratulations. 